Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some Dragalia laws. As we can see here, uh, yesterday it was announced that uh, Galaluco was going to be coming I in today. Found a world we can all enjoy together. Um, which was kind of guessed once it seemed like they weren't going to do Monster Hunter next. It looks like Galabanner is going to be before it. Uh, should you summon on this, I think it's worth it to throw... Um, oh, one moment. My flashlight is on. <laughs> Uh, usually Galaban, let me put it this way, I think it's very much likely that Galaluca is going to be better than every single unit inside the Monster Hunter. Um, but if you care about Monster Hunter, that doesn't matter if Luca is the strongest thing in the world. <laughs> Uh, let me l just take a quick look at what Luca does here, just to say it. I know what he does. He's a he's really interesting with all the his like buff buffing buff mechanic he does. So he has shining slash. He's a blade unit. Deals light damage to enemies in a line. The skill's critical rate is increased by 10% for each buff with a different icon applied to the user. Brilliant booster adds 80% to the modifier applied to the user's critical damage for 10 seconds. He has a co-op ability that is uh, strength 10%. Uh, connecting call two. Increases uh, Luca's critical rate by 4% for each and every buff with a different icon applied to him up to 28% In addition applies one of the following buffs to Luca every time one of his attacks is a critical hit Sylvian secret arts human wisdom or rocky and expertise each of these buffs increase Luca's critical rate by 3% for 20 seconds Only one instance of each buff can be activated at the same time Activ activating this ability will not activate again for three seconds uh, he has Unforgettable Promise, uh, which has reduced his susceptibility to curses by 100%, and when the user is hit by an attack that would have cursed them, their critical rate is increased by 15% for 10 seconds. After activating this buff, will not activate again for 15 seconds. And he has Flurry Devastation, which increases critical rate by 13% when his combo count is 15 or higher. Whew. So as you can see, he can get real silly. Also, his Brilliant Booster is it adds 80% to the modifier applied to the user's critical damage for 10% for 10 seconds. It's crazy. This man is a, a crit machine, it seems like. So I'm going to be doing some summons for him. Uh, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to be doing tickets. So I'm going to start with this. Um, I'm basically going to be doing a whole bunch of single summons. Uh, about 20, and then I'll do a multi to see if I can get um, something. But yeah, as someone who's like... I don't really need him for my light team, so I'm kind of like, if I get him, cool, um, but my light team's perfectly fine without him, so I'm not going to be too broken up about it. He definitely seems really good. I think his design is cool as all hell. I'm skipping a lot of these just because I know that there's not going to be anything here. Um, but yeah, between do you summon on Gala Banner or do you summon on the Monster Hunter Banner coming up? I think that's a tough choice for new people um, because as someone who plays the game a lot I know for I mean this is the way I see it is that uh, Galaluca is always gonna be here the thing that's a bummer is that after this point like he's gonna be extremely hard to actually get in the banner <laughs> so this is your best shot of getting Galaluca uh, if you ever want him down later on the road you're gonna have to deal with uh, the fact that he's at such a low feature, it's actually impossible. That's kind of how I feel about Galicleo, is that I really want Galicleo, but Galicleo is never featured, and her rate is, like, stupid low. I think I'll show it um, when I finish here. It's crazy low, for sure. To the point where I'm like, I don't understand why anyone would want to try and summon for her on this banner, because there's no point. If anything, you'll be happy if you get her. And maybe if you're re-rolling, you want to deal with that kind of pain. I oh, God. Damn it! <laughs> can't believe so here's a fun fact. Oh, you ruined my. Uh, no, you didn't ruin anything, baby. I'm sorry. I love Galamim. She's my number one girl. Um, let me just look at the appearance rate for Galamim. It is currently 0.053% compared to Galaluca's 0.500%. Um. You see how small Galamim's uh, percentage is. I've gotten her on every single summon I've done for a Gala. Um, starting from, I want to say, after... No, Gala Ellie, I, I got her. Gala, the Pri Gala Prince, I got her. And now for Gala Ranzel, I got her. She will not leave me alone. And uh, I think that's great, because I love Mim. So I'll never be angry when she shows up. But she did kind of ruin what I was trying to do here with my ticket. So we're going to start again. The natural um, boost for Gala is also 6%, so 
I'm gonna see if I can try and get it to at least uh, eight eight percent before I do a multi summon. So that would mean I would need to do um, twenty tickets basically. And the way I play this game is that I save all my tickets for Gala Banner because on regular Banner, the, the best way to use um, single tickets, I think in my mind, is to um, kind of up the pity rate to as high as possible. So it's smarter for you to do it that way first and then get like crazy high um, uh, pity rate and then do a multi-summon. Because the multi-summon, when you do it with the higher rates, that means you don't not only have a better chance of getting the featured unit, um, but also gives you a better chance of getting more than one unit in the entire multi. So, all right, let's see. All right, I think after this one, I'll have done 10 multi-tickets. Not 10 multi-tickets, 10 single tickets. Let's see how it's looking. Let's see, appearance rate is currently at... No, I can go a little higher. Do 10 more. So I think it's uh, every 10 tickets it goes up by 5% um, or so. But yeah, besides Galaluca, I still need Galacleo. I still need um, uh, Cerise. Gala Cerise, I guess is her full name. Um, and I think I'm missing someone else. I'm missing Gala Ranzel. Um, which is very unfortunate because Galaranzel is the unfortunate victim to falling into the waifu trap because now Bright Ellie has basically replaced <laughs> Galaranzel as the unit to go to, which is very sad because he's the first, I think, Gala unit that has actually been replaced by a non-limited um, unit. Like, it's not even- Gala, Gala Ellie isn't even like a limited unit. You could easily get her if you want. Um, and by easily get her, I mean you can find her in the summons and stuff like that. So let's see. Uh, after this one, I believe we're good to go. Yes. Okay. Now I'll use a multi-ticket just to be double sure. Let me check on appearance rate. 7%. Alright. Let's throw a multi and see if we can get something good, huh? I'm very interested. By the way, if you're summoning on this or um, doing something like that, I want to hear what you got. Tell me what you're currently thinking. As if you're currently on the hold for Monster Hunter, I'm very interested to see how you feel about this. Now let me see if it's going to fake out. If it doesn't, I'm just going to skip. Uh, that's a skip. Hardcore skip. Alright, let's do another multi-ticket. <sighs> I should really have used maybe 10 more tickets or so. Alright, that means we're guaranteed something. Again, he has a blade unit, so we want to see blades. We want to see no dragons. Uh, one. Alright, not bad. Now let's see, is it... Uh, that's an axe. Uh, I don't know if there's any... No, there is. There's Gala Ellie. So... I mean, there's Axe units that I need, so let's keep it rocking and let's see if I get one. Uh, hello, thank you for the water. Oh, yes! <laughs> Ramona, awesome. I was uh, tempting uh, to break my pity on Ramona's banner, specifically because I want her so much. That's a win for me. I definitely needed her, so I'll gladly add her to the team. All right, let's go back. Uh, sure, let's keep doing some single tickets and keep going. But yeah, if you're summoning on this banner, or if you're not summoning on this banner, tell me why. I, um, Dragele gives you a lot of, like, stuff to multi with, so, but I still feel like even with that, if you really care about Monster Hunter, I can't stress enough the fact that the Fire Emblem dudes never came back. Like, Fire Emblem uh, Heroes, the collab we got with uh, Fire Emblem, those dudes never came back. So, it's hard for me to be like, because Gallop banners are always here and there's always a chance to get them. As you saw, I've, if you've seen all of my Gallop videos up till now, you've seen the fact that I've pulled basically a Gallop unit every single time. And it's always been Mim, but whatever. But I think if you wait, it's perfectly possible for you to get a Gallop unit. I just don't know if, for coolness sake, whether or not you want the... It depends on what you look for in the game. If you're looking for the top tier meta stuff, obviously Galabanner will always... Tr oh god, no, I skipped it. Ah, I was Gilgamesh. Do I even need you? I do need you. Alright, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going for a bit. We'll try again. Um, let's see. Uh, what was I trying to say? Um, oh, I'm now over Uh, So yeah. I don't know. I'm actually kind of curious to see if the Fire Emblem dudes are going to be on the Monster Hunter banner. Because if they are, that's going to suck for me. Because um, the reason is, is that I have all three Fire Emblem dudes. So the idea of me getting 
um, screwed over by that <laughs> would really suck. It actually kind of makes me fearful uh, now that I've kind of brought it out into the world. I really, it would be good for people like who are starting the game now if they could get Marth, Fjorm, and Ver Verica. I think that was her name. I get confused because there's Veronica and there's Verica, so one of them's a Fire Emblem unit, the other one is not. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, again, very interested to see what's going on. Nothing doves. I have to remember to, if I see the special animation, not to skip it immediately. Alright. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I gotta say for it, really. Alright, let's keep going. Um, plenty, as you can see here, I have over 100 tickets, so it's not like... I have not had to spend in Dragalia since launch and when i bought something at launch it was for the guaranteed ticket and since then i've never had to spend any money this account is except for that one five that i got who i cannot remember the name of i'm sorry for all the starting fives uh oh okay this time i'm not gonna do it my account's basically free to play so i think this game is very free to play friendly and i really should throw out some money just to make them happy that's a blade is it going to be oh you son of a bitch makoto you absolute monster person. Why would you do this? Why? Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, let's see. No, I think that's a good sign to end it. There's also no free um, multis for this. Uh, obviously, if the game is showing you a troll, you should stop summoning. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop summoning. Um, there's no free multis confirmed for this Gala Banner. So, I don't know if it's worth it to just kind of like not summon. I would play it like, the, the banner's here for actually a pretty long time. Let me see, I think it's here till the 28th, if I'm remembering correctly. Ooh, nope. Where is it? Let me see, right? No, let me just do a quick check. No, where is it? Come on. I should be all the way at the bottom, shouldn't I? Really? No, what? Uh, it's gonna kill me now. I've spent too long in this. I apologize for not knowing off the top of my head when the hell this freaking banner ends. Oh, come on. Why is there, is there really just no, no info on this? There we go. 28th. And I'll be damned if I'm pretty positive that on the 28th, that's when Monster Hunter might start. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. It make, it helps me a whole lot. I like to see likes all over the place. And comment if you are able to get Gala uh, Luca or if you're saving. And also, you know what's really going to be really interesting? Now that all the main characters, except for some of the ones that were added later, such as Alex and I believe one of the androids. I can't remember which one is added because I haven't done the story yet. Um, all the main cast has gotten a, uh, a Gala unit. And Cerise, whose only unit has been a Gala unit. So I'm interested to see where the who's next on the Gala banner. We'll see in two months. Until then, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, leave a like. Subscribe to me if you want some more Dracalia stuff and some other gotcha stuff because I play a whole bunch of different games. Not just gotchas. Anyway, I'm rambling. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day.